Welcome to Magic Workout. This is Adal Brujo and today's workout is supposed to be done on Tuesdays because we are going to rock our hips. We're going to work our second chakra. You will need a chair like whatever height is comfortable for you to, le to lean your feet on. It could be a little higher or it could be lower depending on, on your level. So find a chair or a bench where you can do this. And you will need a couple of plates, like these plates that I have here. But if you don't have plates, you can use dumbbells or you could use medicine bowls or water bottles. And if you don't have time for that, just to do it body weight throughout the whole workout. So pause the video, find your chair, and let's begin. So what we are going to do is just open our hips like this or I mean our legs and try to put the feet as opposite as you can and all we are going to do is just push forward while we do this push forward and create this tension along all of your legs all your legs all of your legs <laughs> <laughs> All your legs. <laughs> and just focus on that. Just keep pushing. Now we are going to bring our hips backward. And we are going to just feel the tension that builds up in our hamstrings and our butt and then push forward again this seems to be an easy thing to do but it's actually a little bit challenging but the idea is just create tension and extension in our legs we are actually not doing anything but just that you know here in magic workout effort is not required all we need to have is a little focus and conscious tension and for me conscious tension and forgive me if you have listened to me saying this over and over again but this is for the people that just is new to the channel conscious tension is a way of imagining that some kind of electricity comes from the earth and goes through you through your bones and your spine and up to your head and when that happens you tense all of your muscles not forgetting any of them just tense them and we are going to do it right now we are pushing forward and then we are going to bring the tensions up create tension imagine this beam of light coming up and tense all of your muscles suck your stomach in and release now now we are going to go up and down just slightly up and down and feel how uh, the energy starts to accumulate right in your jewels right in your groin and you go up and down and Bring that energy up. Energize yourself. I feel comfortable in my own skin. I am comfortable having sensations in my body, pleasurable sensations. I am comfortable with my sexuality. I'm comfortable with my sensuality. Sensuality. I am comfortable with my body. My body deserves a lot of pleasure. So we stay here and we're going to bring the tensions, bring the energy up
take a little time to deal. You might, you may get dizzy, so please have the chair nearby in case you feel like you're gonna fall down. We don't want to have an accident here. So let's go down as lower as you can. Find your end range. The end range is that part where you say, I can't hold it anymore. So for me, it's happening right down below here. And I'm going to bring the tensions up. And go back. And just connect with this energy, your second chakra energy, if you know what I mean. This fire that we all feel, and we all have the urge to just let it go and release it. But we are learning to hold it in and on for a little longer without release. And we are bringing that energy up to our head and no to, to all of our muscles so that this energy is transmuted in personal power to do whatever we want to do in a harmonious and pleasurable way. So we are pushing hips forward and bring the tensions up. And release. Whew. That felt really powerful for me. So I'm bringing this energy to bring my vision to life. Everything that I dream, everything that I love doing, everything that I want to happen in my life, I make it happen by just focusing on my pleasure. Focusing on this energy. And I make sure to have it every day. I have the capacity to create my own life by feeling pleasure. So we are going down and down and down and down and down and down as lower as you can and then bring the tensions up. And release. Whew. Everything that I am dream, everything that I am dreaming, every desire that I hold, it's just being accomplished right now. I am creating my reality through pleasure. Effort is overrated. My new way of discipline is one of love and pleasure. And I make sure to do it every day and to acknowledge it every day. Love and pleasure. That's my kind of effort. Love and pleasure. And a lot of chilling out and dancing in between. And when we are tired of chilling out, we chill out more so that we can rest from chilling out on the other way. We're always chilling. No matter what we are doing, we're always in this pleasurable feeling. So let's push the hip forward again and bring the tensions up. Make sure to involve all of your muscles. And bring the energy up and release. I no longer care what other people think or what they may think about me or what they say about me. I only care about having my dose of daily pleasure, which I find in every moment, in every activity that I do. Just bring the energy of pleasure throughout your body and do your stuff and do it with this from this place of enjoyment. I give permission I give myself permission to just feel pleasure. So I go down again and find my end range. 
And with this pleasurable feeling, we are going to bring the energy up. And release. Whew. So now we are with our legs still like that. And we are going to just make circles with our hip very slowly. You can feel little pulls or little pain. Just do it carefully. No rush. And just try to push deeper each time. I am opening the gates of pleasure throughout my body. I feel pleasure when I am engaged in physical activity or what I am uh, what I am doing in my job or when I am eating or when I am walking down the street when I'm driving when I'm talking to people when I do my thing when I'm having fun I always make sure to bring and open up this pleasure I allow myself to have it. I deserve all the goodness of the universe. And anything that contradicts that is just neutralized and transmuted into more energy pleasure. Now let's do it to the other side. So we are still moving our hips and you can move your arms or place them on your hips. Whatever you feel like doing, it's your body. I'm just giving you ideas. I'm just training here myself and sharing with you. But you can do whatever you want to because it's your body. Nobody ever have to tell you what to do with your body. Nobody ever have to tell you what to eat or what you shouldn't eat or what you shouldn't or whatever that has to do with your body. It's only you who has the right to choose. So choose pleasure. Let's do it one more time. He push the hips forward as much as you can. Find the end range and bring the tensions up. <sighs> Make sure to tense all of your muscles. <sighs> and bring the energy to your head. And connect to yourself from a pleasurable connection. Just let it in. Just let yourself be open to this energy. It's all around you and inside of you. And it's all above you and in front of you and your back. So just let it in. Just dance away a little. Bring that energy to throughout your muscles. And just let yourself go. There's a tune, there's a music inside of you. Just dance to its rhythm. And give yourself permission to feel pleasure. No matter what they say, no matter what they do, no matter what they think, just allow myself to feel pleasure in everything that I do and I feel it with gusto I feel pleasure with gusto and I have no shame I am shameless I feel no guilt or shame about anything with my body my body is mine and I give it what it asks for and all my body needs is pleasure. All my body needs is pleasure. All my body needs is pleasure. <laughs> okay, so now we are going down. Find your end range. You will see that the more you do it, the lower you can actually go. So find your end range and bring the tensions up. <laughs> And release 
and just bring your legs together, close your legs, and start shaking. Shake, 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 shake. Da -da 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 Let this shaking go to the upper side of your body. And let that energy just go in. Remember, I'm always speaking in the first person because I am reciting mantras for me. But when you listen to me, you can say them in the first person too. So I'm actually just helping you recite mantras and affirmations that will go throughout your body that you are moving right now and it's going to impregnate every cell of your body and it's going to sink into your subconscious mind so eventually everything that we are actually saying and affirming it's true it's true right now and then your life will starts to reflect that all of, of the things that you attract and the people that you interact with will match that energy. So we strive for keep that energy every day just by coming here with me and start moving and affirming, baby. So let's do now this. We're gonna have the chair or the surface that you cho chose to lift your leg. But we are going to position, position the feet just as we were doing it before to the side and the leg goes to the side as well to the side and our body is kept right in front like this so all we are gonna do now is just hang out here and feel the uh, energy just building up from your second chakra up to your legs and up to your head my advice is that you Choose a surface that is high enough, challenging enough for you. Not so easy, but not so hard. For me, this one works just right. So if you're not feeling anything with the surface that you chose, probably you need something higher. But for now, just leave it there. You don't, go, you don't need to go out and search for this for working out with me. Just stay where you are. If you, if you don't have a surface, just try to do it without it. But it's just easier to just hang out here for a while. And let our hips know that it's okay to hold this position, that nothing can harm you, and that it's all good. That it should be relaxed and allowing, just as we are doing it. We relax and allow. We relax and allow the goodness. So there you go. That, that's all that we're doing is just staying here and pushing the leg as far as the side as possible to the side. And just feel the energy accumulating and building up. You should be a little bit aroused. That's what I mean when I say feel the energy building up. It's some kind of energy that, you know what I mean. It's just felt. And then we're going down. So I'm doing it on the other leg. I go up. And I make sure that my foot is just to the to, pointing to the side and my body is just pointing to the front and I only let my body relax to the fact that coming this height and staying there it's safe we are teaching our body to move in a safe way we don't force it we don't force our bodies to do anything we are always treating our body with respect and kindness 
just as we treat ourselves, just as we treat the world outside. Kindness. So we just stand here and feel that energy just coming, accumulating, and send it up and bask in it. Everything I do is done in a pleasurable way. Before I do anything, I wake up from the dream and I remember how this activity is going to bring me pleasure. And then you connect to that variant of a space of variance that could happen. And you just chose the one that will give you more pleasure and fun. And that's all it takes. From there, everything you do is done from this frequency with this frequency. So the results will come in the same frequency as well. It's just that easy. The hardest part is remember to wake up every time we're doing something or we're about to do something. The hardest part is to remember and become lucid. This is a dream where I am the master and I can control it. So I wake up and I become lucid and I connect to the pleasurable and fun way to do this. And then you just go ahead and do it. And with that frequency, everything that comes after will come in the same vibration. It's just like that. So now we are going up again with the other leg. And what we're going to focus on is in extending the leg that is touching the floor. And this leg, we are pulling it backwards. That's all we need to do, just do this. And once we are there, and you pushed as far as you could, bring the tensions up. Bring the energy and tense all of your muscles. And release. Ha. I never get tired of telling you that making special sound effects with your mouth and imagining actually seeing the light coming from the ground through your body is way more helpful because you are strengthening your visualization capabilities. So let's just go to the other side and I will bring the leg up. I focus on strengthening the legs and bringing this leg to the back and then just bring the tensions up. And release. And let's go back. What time is it now? Oh, it's actually only 20 minutes. So we are again place our feet on the surface. Make sure we are like very upwards and our legs are lengthened and push this leg back and bring the tensions up. <sighs> Remember, all of your muscles are involved. Your neck muscles, your arms, your forearms, your hips, your stomach, your buttocks, all of your muscles are involved and they are being consciously tensed. So let's do it on the other side. So I make sure I go here. I check my position and then bring the tensions up. And release. Let's do it again. 
Bring the leg up. Check your legs. Straighten your legs. Push this leg back. And then bring the tensions up. And let's do it on the other side. And then check your position and then just bring the tensions up. And release. And let's just shake our legs. I'm feeling all of the muscles around my hip waking up and they are being open and as they get open I open myself more to feel pleasure to give myself permission to feel pleasure deeper and deeper every day pleasure has no limits and I found pleasure healthy I find pleasure healthy I find pleasure easy to get. It's just as simple as to connect with the present moment and connect with the task that we are doing from a joyous position. And then we just roll in and find more ways to feel more pleasure. So now let's go up. Now what we're going to do is we are going to simulate that we want to lift our, our foot off the surface. I can do it just a little bit, but if you can't, just have the intention to lift it. And when you have the intention, you will feel the pulling of the muscles here. Even, you, even when you can't lift the foot off the surface, you will feel uh, the tension here if you have the intention to lift it. And when that intention happens, then we are going to bring our tensions up. So remember, our body is facing to the front and the leg to the back. We find the position and then we try to lift and then find the tensions up. Oh, and then just go down. Oh, I can feel it really good. Now let's go to the other side. Bring your foot. Find your position and then try to lift or lift and then tensions. <laughs> I almost fall down. And just come down. And shake, shake your jewels. Just let them have some energy. Just let them jiggle and jingle all the way. Jingle all the way. <laughs> and then let's go up. And we are going to push the feet down like we want to. Uh, destroy the surface that we are leaning on with a strain or pushing down. So we push down, and obviously that's not going to happen, but you feel like, and then you find the tensions while you are pushing down. So let's do it. Push down and bring the tensions up. There you go. Ah, this felt really good. Tell me how you are feeling in the comments below. Don't be shy. Just type a line or two and say, hi, I felt amazing. I felt ripples of pleasure throughout my body. And I felt like I wanted to go out and eat the world in just one bite. <laughs> and then just go up. And remember, we are going to push the feet, the foot down. So bring the position and push down and bring the tensions up. And 
and release. Oh, but this time your hips should be feeling loose, like noodles, you know, just it's weird. It's a weird sensation. And it's not actually pain. It's a feeling. It's just like so relaxed, like you are floating in water. Some kind of sensation of, like that. It's what we are looking for. So let's go up again. And we are going to try to lift the foot off the surface. So let's do it and find the tension. Ooh. And release. Shake your legs a little. Shake your jewels a little. Connect to this fountain of pleasure and bring it to every cell of your body. So let's go up here and then just try to lift it or lift it off and bring the tension. You will feel this energy just accumulating in on your glute here and all around your hip. That's the sign that you are doing it fine. No matter if your height is just here, you are still making the effort and waking up the muscles from your hip, from around your hip. So now we are going to lift again and we are going to push down. So let's do that. Push down and bring the tensions up. And release. And take some deep breath. Relax right now. Nothing is too serious, really. We give it too much importance to everything. So we drop the importance and focus on what's really the heart of life, which is love and pleasure. I love, I feel pleasure, I feel joy. And I do it every day, no matter what. No matter what people say, no matter what is happening all around me, I give myself permission to feel the joy of every situation. I stop being guilty or feeling guilty or whatever, feeling ashamed because I live my life from a place of pleasure. So let's do it again. We push the foot down and bring the tensions up. And release. And shake your legs. So I'm going to pull the chair away. And then I'm going to bring this a little bit to the back. And we are going to grab the plates. We are going to find a position again, like this. And we are coming down with the plates here, or the dumbbells, or the water bottles, or the medicine balls, whatever you have, or nothing if you don't have anything. And then just bring your back as vertical as you can, and bring the tensions up. And release take a little break i allow myself to be pleasured and to be chill throughout the day throughout every moment i connect to this beautiful spirit that is taking care of me and thrives when I feel joy and happiness and pleasure and ecstasy.
So I allow myself to feel that I become a little kid again. And everything around me is just awesome. It's just outstanding. And I do it playing. I play. I don't take stuff any seriously anymore. I just play. I play and relax and try to see things from that relaxed perspective. And then just let everything else fall down and connect to that. And we will be fine. So let's bring the fence up again and we find our end range. Push your hip forward and then just bring the tension up. And release. Breathe with me. Because we are going down again. But now we are going to push our hips to the back. So we bring the plates, we find our end range and push our hip back. And then just bring the tension up. Oh. And let go, drop the blades, and take a little break. Just shake your legs, or do a little dance, whatever you want to feel like doing. I don't know if I said that right, but whatever you feel like doing, just bring it in. Let it in. And whoever or whatever comes your way trying to, you know, discredit your way that the way that you are feeling or to tell you that you shouldn't be so happy or so pleasured about life or so enthusiastic or whatever. You just... Tell them, yeah, you are right. You are totally right. Don't discuss with everyone. Just go their way. Yeah, you're right. And just keep doing your thing. It will, it will happen that people will come and tell you, you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't feel this way. How can you be so positive? Why aren't you angry about this and about that? And the only thing that you have to do is just say, yes, you are right. There's no need to defend our position. There's nothing to defend. Because what is yours is yours, and nobody can take away that away from you. So you just say, yeah, you're right. Just like, yeah, smile, and keep on living the way you are living. And that's it. And that way, all of those situations and people will just fade away in the background, and you will find people that would actually connect to the way you feel and will actually understand what you what you're feeling what's going on inside of you so don't get into silly arguments you are here for pleasure and flowing you are not here to convince anyone about anything you are here just to be you so let's bring the blades up again and we are going down and bring the tensions up and breathe because we're going to do it again but this time the knees we're try to push your knees outwards and to the back like opening it up a little bit more just generate that tension if you can't do it don't worry and don't forget if you are doing it this far that's perfectly fine 
it's your level it's your own level so just choose whatever feels a little bit challenging for you and then work from there eventually you will you will go deeper and deeper so let's do it again and i go down and i focus on pushing the knees to backwards like just opening up a little bit more and bring the tensions up and release oh i felt it so good right here so now we are gonna just shake our legs I connect to the energy of pleasure and I connect on finding pleasure in this very moment and laughter and you know just chill out I connect to that stream of energy like whatever it happens just gives me jiggles and tingles my skin with ripples of pleasure whatever I do of whatever nature, as long as I'm respecting my boundaries and someone else's boundaries, I allow myself to feel pleasured by this beautiful sunlight, by this beautiful air, by the delicious water, with the delicious earth and abundant earth. I'm in harmony with all of them and I'm just feeling myself a little bit more open to receive pleasure. So we're going down like this. Don't worry about coming down. Just try to, you know, straighten your back. If you, if you are over here, just try to make your back straight and see if you can go lower. But don't forget that the point is not coming down, but just extending our back and extending our legs and in that position I find my end range remember we are not trying to do anything like experts do like professional athletes we are, all we are doing is trying to get our body a little bit more and connect to it and give it a little movement that is healthy that will create muscle, that will create, will, will create flexibility and will make our life easier and movement easier. So that's all that we are doing. We are not trying to prove anything, just exploring. So we find the end range and then bring the tensions up, create the tension in all of your muscles. I imagine the beam of light right now. And release and you will notice that you will be able to go deeper into the stretch and let's just tap our legs like this and your glutes open yourself to pleasure <laughs> and keep hitting the legs like this and just go back shake your legs imagine yourself just being open to pleasure every moment and receiving the goodness of life that's the good side of life in abundance and you just being happy with it just getting jiggy with it and you feel in ecstasy every moment of your life 
So let's find a place to sit down. I'm going to just lay down here. We're going to do our breathing session. Remember that uh, we are breathing for a moment with certain technique, and then we're going to breathe out and breathe in. And when, when we breathe in, we are going to push the energy up, create the tensions, and then we are going to release it and hold our breath out for as long as we can. If you can't go as far as I do, or as far as I can, don't worry, just do it until you are ready, you feel ready, try to push it a little, a little bit longer, and then just breathe again, and bring the energy up again, tensing all of your muscles, and focusing on connecting your perineum, this place between your jewels and your butt hole. You are going to wink that, and bring that energy up to your head so you feel ripples of pleasure all over your body and we are going to do three rounds so find a comfortable spot and just let's get started with shamanic breathing which is one breath to the stomach one breath to the chest and then release and we will do it in different spits so let's Get it done, baby. faster. Take a full breath in. Squeeze all of your muscles. Bring the energy up. And release. And hold your breath for as long as you can. Breathing. Bring the energy up. And release. I allow myself to give and receive more pleasure every day. That's my only mission to feel pleasure and happiness and joy. And I connect to that side of life that brings me all of that. I can find it in every breeze of air. I can find it in every sunlight and every flower and every person that I bump into and I interact with you. I can find it within myself. I can find this fountain of eternal pleasure that is supporting me and leading me with joy and I'm enjoying all of that and setting that into my subconscious mind so that everything that I choose and I attract is connected to that frequency of pleasure and enjoyment and play. I take life lightheartedly. So let's do it again. faster.
take a full breath in and squeeze all of your muscles bring the energy up <sighs> breathe out and hold your breath for as long as you can Breathe in, push the energy up, and just breathe out. I don't take things so seriously. I drop all of the importance of everything. I just take it. I'm just learning to take life lightheartedly. I'm learning how to just have a little laugh or have a little tear or have a little whatever that I need in the moment and just let it go and enjoy that, enjoy the process. I'm learning how to laugh at my own self-destructive thoughts and I recognize them. I I know when they happen and I just laugh at them and just tell them it's okay don't worry but you don't have any power here and i love you and i just love whatever is happening all around me and just do my thing pleasurably feel the pleasure penetrating every pore of your skin and let it in And let's do it one more time. faster. Take a full breath in. Squeeze the muscles, bring the energy up. And let it go. And hold your breath for as long as you can. Breathe in. Bring the energy up. <sighs> and release. I'm not ashamed of feeling pleasure. I'm not ashamed of feeling pleasure. I don't feel guilt about feeling pleasure. I allow myself to feel pleasure every moment of my life. No matter what is going on around me or inside of me even, I just recognize the moment I wake up and feel this ripples of pleasure coming up through my body and extending to everything that I do today. I allow myself to feel good in my own skin. I allow to feel good with my vision of life and the way I do things and respecting my boundaries and respect, respect someone else's boundaries too. I just get so involved into my own stuff. I don't have time to be crying on everyone's life or comparing myself to anyone. I just focus myself on my own stuff 
and I bring my attention to my present moment and I allow myself to feel pleasure then just to surround surrender to this beautiful force that is taking me to a beautiful destiny which is right here right now this is my all this is all the destiny that I have right here and right now and it's ever evolving and it's ever becoming more beautiful and pleasurable and joyful and with that being said with that mantra being said I'm just having a little time to thank you for being here thank you for working out with me thank you for chillaxing with me and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you go out and you know just beam this energy outwards and shower everyone with this energy so that this world starts to become even more loving for you we are creators of our own reality we get to choose what kind of love and what kind of world we are going to live and it all starts inside of ourselves it all starts with the man and woman in the mirror every day you wake up you just look at yourself and make the changes so that the world is reflecting beauty and love everywhere you go and it's our daily work of waking up from the dream and being lucid and just decide that so see you tomorrow and have a great loving pleasurable day see you later alligator bye